All right, guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to see if we can buy a house in the Philippines for $500. That's right, 500 US. So my wife told me that uh, one of her relatives has this house and he ended up acquiring this house and he just wanted to get rid of it and sell it. So this house is just, actually it's less than $500 US. Based on the rate today, it's like $438 for this house. So we are packed up, we've got our bags right over there, and we're on the way to the ferry right now so we can go to Bohol in the Philippines and go check out this house. So how many of you guys wish you can pay cash for a house? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot. Those, there are thousands, but if you're not from the Philippines, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that's not a lot. They're like $20 bills, basically. So I brought my cash money with me. I'm going to be a cash buyer. And uh, let's go check out this house. I've only seen pictures from the outside. I haven't seen really what it looks like inside or kind of the surroundings or anything. So we're going to check it out. If it's a great house, we're going to put down the cash. And I brought a few thousand pesos extra, which is like uh, two or three hundred dollars extra to start rebuilding it or renewing it or whatever we need to do to it. So let's go. Let's go straight to Bohol. Let's check out this house. Can you believe it? Just five hundred dollars. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know somebody's gonna say this. Somebody's gonna say, you're a foreigner and you can't buy land in the Philippines. You're a foreigner, you can't own a house in the Philippines. Well, the land part's true. The land would be my wife's, but whatever I built on it, since we're married, it'd be hers and mine. Technically, if I build it, it's mine, but uh, it's hers, I don't care. It's $500, right? And, and if we do decide to keep it how it is, we'll keep it how it is, but it needs to be torn down and rebuilt. It would probably only cost another couple thousand dollars to build something really really nice for where we're going to be so once again this is a 500 hundred dollar house with a one million dollar view so those of you guys that live in the states and you've seen waterfront property in florida california or anywhere else you know that's the best place to live and, and those are the million dollar properties well it's a little different here in the philippines all right let's go let's go to Bohol. i'll turn the camera back on when we get to the house so you can check it out all right so here here's the view from the outside the tide's going out it's all lava rock here now it's uh 4 21 p.m earlier it was 1 p.m that was high tide so it's just three hours three and a half hours after the high tide so the ocean's right here next door there's something so here's the place right here Oh, blugger, blugger now. Let's see how this thing's put together here. Okay, so there's sand and lava rock here. And these are just holes. That's how it's put together. Take a look at the structure. It's all bamboo and coconut lumber. Oh, look at that. And next door, my boy. That's my boy. Got some pigs next door, look at that. Get some lechon. So the roof is just uh, two by twos. The roof is two by twos with metal sheets, galvanized sheets. Chickens next door. See the metal's not in bad condition. Just a little rusting right there. We could probably not reuse any of this. There's a homemade gutter. An attempt to collect rainwater and fix that. So this is just galvanized steel with the bamboo clothesline. Let's take a look inside. Let's take a look inside. Oh wait, first let's measure, measure. Here, hold this for me. Whoa. We're at 18 feet right now, so 18 and a half feet from here to here. Okay. Come on, come on. Get the lung. <laughs> 16 feet. What did I say? 16 feet by, what was that one again? 18. 18. So 16 by 18. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. Angelina, go. 
<laughs> Welcome to my crib. MTV Cribs. <laughs> Right, so this looks like the dirty kitchen area. Got a whole crowd of kids here. Come on, you're on my YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Uh, so let's check it out. So this is only a couple feet high right here. Maybe like two and a half, three feet high. So this is like an extended patio. A bamboo slatted floor on top of two by threes. Is this the escape hatch in case we need to escape from the police? Nope. There's some extra wood there. So this whole thing will need to be rebuilt for sure. But comes with a walk. Comes with a burner. Comes with a... Is there any ulam in there? Oh, there's even rice. There's rice in here. Included. Included rice. And a little shelf. Oh, included. Isong egg. One egg included. From the chickens right there. There's chickens. Maybe there's chickens here already. Oh look, there's a, what is this babe? Is there a solar thing here? Green power, 50 watt solar system. Let me see what this is. So I can check this out later. This might make it worth the while. Just having a solar system. Oh, okay, and it actually works, it's on. Dongle port, there's a model number there. I can check that out later. Can you read that? You have a job now. I have a job. I'm doing my job. So here's all the... Okay, there are outlets. Where's the solar panel at? Ask them if they know where the solar panel is. There's a solar panel somewhere. So green power, 50 watt. You could probably add onto this and put... I want to put 200 watts in here. Come on, you can't figure out the foolproof lock? There it is. Oh, nice. You gotta go under like this. This is this is a childproof Filipino proof lock. Let's check it out. Look at that notice. Miss beans and memory. She's something dead life. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, there's a karaoke speaker in here. Is all that included, Bubba? Huh? Here she is. The crib, babe. Nobody lives here. Hold on. Let's just sleep in here. Look, so bamboo floor, and those look like two by twos underneath here. So the floor is two by twos, bamboo slats, and it's divided into two rooms with a tarp and some bamboo. There's one window, non opening, just slats. Here's a view of the neighbors. Come on, Got boats right there at high tide, of course. You saw the waters here. I wonder if the karaoke speaker comes with it. So here's the view when high tide comes in. I'm throwing my fishing pole right out there when the high tide comes in. And these are two by threes. So the frame, framing inside is all two by threes. Let's turn on the flesh. All right, let's continue. So these are just trees. Somebody cut down trees. Those are the main posts. And that's peelable bark. Is that kind of like a birch tree or something. That's not gonna last. So this is actually cool. You've got a little area here. That whole dirty outdoor kitchen area there. There's a bedroom here. I'm gonna move the mattress out of the way to get to it. Windproof door, we'll call that. And you can see there's water in here. That's because during the high tide, those waves were splashing today. I'm a little nervous, but this feels pretty good walking on this. I'm 105 kilos. It's about 225 pounds. And I'm fine walking on this. And those look like... Oh, those are 2 by 3s Okay. So all of these beams are 2 by 3s Could upgrade that to 2 by 4s All of the framing in here, 2 by 2 So the wall is part tarpaulin, part natural woven bamboo, part metal. And I'm looking in here, the roof is almost eight feet high because I'm standing on my tippy toes, I'm standing on my tippy toes and I can touch the very top here. But I'm gonna do something about that. Put in some uh, bigger material than two by two so the nails aren't sticking out. Those won't hit anybody, but. And then this is all air coming in here. 
can change that. Let's take a look from back here. All right, that's it. All right, so now you got a chance to see the house inside and outside. You got a chance to see the view, which is awesome. It's right on the beach. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking no one's going to live in that house. Well, actually, tons of people do here in the Philippines. They live right on the water like that. And usually people who are poor live right on the water. And people who live inland usually build bigger houses. That's just my observation here. But of course, if we get this and we agree to a deal, we're not going to live in that house. That's just something that when we go there and visit, we, get, we have a place to stay. And we're going to completely demolish it. Probably set it up on a... 8 foot to 12 foot pilings. We'll do cement pilings with footers, raise it up probably anywhere between 8 to 12 feet and then uh, build it part wood and part bamboo. Keep it pretty close to the same size and uh, just make a nice little vacation house to go to. And while we're not there, we'll have a relative living there. That way we know it's safe and no one's going to steal all the wood and tear it apart, which actually happens here or anywhere if you leave the house alone by itself. All right, now I told you what it looked like when we first got there. Uh, the tide was high, and we went there on purpose at the highest point of the high tide, and it was about a 2.1 meter tide uh, when we got there. And you saw how high it was. It was actually in the front of the house as it's on a slight slope in the front. It's raised up 45 inches off the ground. So check out the video of where the tide is when we got there and we saw it in the, the first impression. Here's that video. More like alleys and thin sidewalks. Lead the way. You know where to go. Hey, come on. And we're going to take a look at this house. This house on the water. Huh? Is that it? Is that it right there? It needs to be higher than that. Let's see. Let's see, Bob. That's it. It's got to be higher than that. That's why I said if it's like that, this needs to be raised up. So here it is. A $500 house with a million-dollar view right on the ocean. This is. 25,000 pesos or roughly $438 and we came here on the super high tide it's like uh, 2.1 meters right now get an idea on what we need to do if we get this to raise it up in the air completely tear it down and raise it up in the air let's check it out wait until the tide goes out a little bit and then we'll go inside so today's perfect look how rough it is out there it's a super rough day the high the high tide is in right now it's really high we just got back from uh the hole and i bet you're wondering what happened with the house do we have builders tearing it down right now getting ready to rebuild it did we drop a plan did we do whatever well let me tell you what happened so the relative who's selling the house you know they they gave it they were telling us this on the premise that you know 25,000 pesos, you know, less than $500. And we just come there and we buy it, transfer it into my wife's name, it's ours. We start building, do whatever we want on it. But when we got there, we're looking at it and we're getting ready to, to talk to him. And I wasn't going to negotiate, I was just going to give it to him. It's, it's like $500, right? And it's right on the beach. A relative's going to be living in it. We're going to be helping somebody out by doing that. We'd be helping him out by, you know, giving him the money that he, he needed for that house. So, uh, so he says, wait. He says, I have one small favor. And I said, well, what's a small favor? He says, can I park my boats right here? And he saw there was lava, there was a house, and then there was lava right there. When the tide comes up, he parks his boats because they have a fishing business, and that's where they offload the fish. I said, oh, okay, that's no problem. I said, of course you can park the boats there. How many boats do you have? And he's thinking, like, parking three or four small boats there. And I said, okay, that'd be fine because I'm, I'm not going to need that for anything unless I get a boat, which I wouldn't for there. So anyways, uh... So anyways, the next favor comes. Oh, and uh, and I need to build a payag for that. So the payag, what's a payag? So it's like it's like that over there. And then I look over, and here's this rock thing built up. It's it's built up so it's higher than the highest tide. 
and it's got a shack on it that's probably eight foot tall and then it has another four to five foot uh, pitched roof on top of that so it's probably 12 12 to 14 and see, yeah I guess 12 to 14 feet tall all together so he said well the other favor is I want to uh, build a rock wall right here on the property right in front of your house and it has to be a little bit higher than the high tide so you saw the tide right it was right about probably the, the, the highest pillars were like 45 inches the high tide was like right at 43 inches probably so he needs he needs to build it probably 45 to 48 inches tall in order to be able to pull the boats up to it offload the fish for his business and and make it work and uh He's being a nice guy thinking this is family and I'm like well you know what it says that's that's not a big deal I guess so as long as you don't block the view so uh, we're going back and forth with this and uh, the whole idea is you know we would only buy it because that it's got a million dollar view so he wanted us to buy the house and then he wanted to build something right in front of our house that would be our property now <laughs> so I'm thinking about him like well I'm trying to be nice here so anyways, uh, I, I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, Let me, let's compromise. I said, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and build up your rock wall. We'll just build up our pilings higher. That way we can see over the top of everything and we still see the ocean. And, uh, and you know, when you make your A-frame on top of your piag, that's going to be just a little shack, basically, where they're going to offload all the fish. I said, put walls on the side, but don't put walls on the front or back. And make sure the pitch of your roof is either underneath our windows or same height as our roof on the house is going to be that way we can look right through it and we don't have any obstruction and we can see the ocean you know I'm, I, I even drew out some sketches and figured everything out and uh kind of hemmed and hawed about it and then gave me the old gotta talk to my wife right then we knew it we knew it's going to be a, a no deal <laughs> or we're guessing it is so he's still hemming and hawing over it and uh, we kind of decided we don't want to be involved in it it sounds like a lot of trouble if his wife's not going to let him do it for whatever reason, well, you know, he lost out on the on a quick sale. So, anyways, after talking to his wife, he's not sure if uh, together if they want to do that, they might just want to keep it or do something else. So it's kind of a wasted trip. We went all the way out there thinking we we're going to buy this place and you know let a relative stay there to help somebody out, help this guy out because we're buying this house and getting it off of his hands for him because he needed the money or whatever the reason was he needed the money, and uh, it turns out it's kind of a wasted trip. So I think they're still hemming and hawing about it, but uh, I don't think we're interested anymore. So anyways, you kind of get the gist of the story. Uh, we're probably not going to go with this deal. I think he's still trying to go through, get some permits for this land so he can have the rights all the way to the low tide because you actually have to get a special permit. So not only do you own the house and the land under it, but you have to get a permit which lets you own all the way up into the low tide mark which is where he wants to put his rock wall and everything so he's going through the permits now and he's going to let us know and talk it over but uh just really disheartening and makes us really really disinterested now because we went there on the premise that it's 25,000 pesos we give you 25,000 pesos we own this place now we tear it down and rebuild it now a relative has a place to live you know, that was the premise we were going on and now there's this whole thing with this rock wall raised up fishing platform the pie egg the whole works so uh anyways I, I guess i guess you can just say uh don't deal with relatives when you're going to buy something don't deal with relatives because once they say i've got a favor to ask you it's not really a favor he wanted us to buy the property and the land and then he wanted to build a house right in front of ours which is or a pie egg he wanted to build a shelter right in front of the house which which defeats the whole purpose of having a beach house all right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click like and subscribe. I'm always going around the Philippines doing different things. I'm visiting different parts of the Philippines. Uh, we do lots of different things from fishing, paddle boarding, island hopping to whatever. So uh, click like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel so I can make more videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Enjoy the pictures, guys.